Many philosophers have had a lot to say about walking. Where Friedrich Nietzsche believed that only truly great thoughts were conceived by putting one foot in front of the other, Immanuel Kant walked to escape the constant stream of his thoughts. And where Gerard de Naval walked to cure his depression, Arthur Rambo used it to channel his anger and fury. And whether it's the subconscious feeling of moving forward or leaving things behind, I guess the incredible thing is that it seems to have a different effect on each one of us. And maybe you're just taking the dog for a stroll, walking for some daily exercise, or even trying to escape some of your problems. But it's incredible how the monotony of walking can completely change the outcome of your day. And what's even more interesting is the little things you begin to notice while you walk. Like how listening to a certain song can make you perceive a moment in a completely different way. Or how a street can look totally different from the opposite end. It's incredible how something as menial as walking has the power to change your perspective. And even if you're exploring the streets of suburbia, the concrete jungle of a city, or wide open fields, a boring old walk might make you appreciate your piece of the world that little bit more, revealing how truly unique each one of our lives are. But I know what you may be thinking. These ideas may only be relevant to the lucky ones who have this luxury. But it doesn't just have to be about walking. Just by doing something tangible like painting a picture or playing social sport once a week can give you fulfillment unlike anything else, helping you to escape the constant struggles of outside judgment and criticism. And in times like this, when our creativity is threatened the most, I think we need to keep doing things that bring us joy. Having little wins without the all-conquering goal at the end of the line, and sometimes moving forward without any other worries but the next step. Because maybe then we can continue to experience the gifts that life still has to offer. <laughs> maybe. <laughs>